what is going on? How are you today? I hope you're doing well. Thanks so much for tuning in. Welcome to Purusha Intuitive. I'm Deborah. This is your weekly reading. Whoop, whoop. I hope life is treating you fairly. It's kind of been a lot lately. I don't know. I mean, we're in Pisces season, so it does make the energy just a lot more palatable. Well, not made, sorry, wrong word. Um, palpable. That's what I was looking for. That's a big one. $5 word right there, baby. Um, yeah, but just like, you know, we can pick up a lot of energy, emotion, sensing into our environment, people, what they're thinking, what they're feeling around us, especially when we're more tuned in. So it's kind of just creating a little bit of, it's not anything horrid, I don't think. It's it's just kind of like some resistance, some tension underneath the surface. It's like the petty BS that's getting to us lately. I'm going to be uploading a, a, a weekly astrology video today, so we'll look into that energy a little bit more. Education and love just popped out for you. So kind of learning a little bit more about love and companionship and working together is what I'm hearing for you, Taurus. We'll get into it a little deeper. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Cross Watchers, obviously welcome. The energy timing is fluid. As long as the message resonates, then you know it's for you. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's get into this. My baby sister's a Taurus. I've been thinking of her a lot lately. She's, <laughs> that's my girl. Shoot. All right. So respect. So, you know, I think sometimes what I'm hearing, especially with that love and education popping out, it's like sometimes we really have to just learn what it means to be in relationship with others not only respecting ourselves, but respecting them as well. Because we all know that saying, that old adage, if you don't respect yourself, people aren't going to respect you. So I'm hearing this as like having better boundaries. Maybe that's the wrong word, but like not taking so much on. Taurus, you're an earth energy. You're very good. You're very strong. Like earth energy is very just... It's sturdy, it can handle a lot because it is dense to some capacity. I don't mean that in a derogatory way. <laughs> Please know that. You know, but I just, I think of um, energy through the elements, through their consistency. Obviously, earth energy is a lot stronger, more sturdy, more stable than like a ether or air energy, right? And that can be a blessing and a curse when we're strong because A, you know, yeah, we can handle a lot, but then B, <laughs> there's way too much on our plate. So this is, and actually when I pulled this card up, the guide, it was 333 on the video. Drop those angel or repeating numbers below. Spirit is always sending us messages spirit angels guides passed over loved ones however you resonate and i love that this guide card comes up for you i feel like what's happening taurus it's not supposed to like don't take it personally is what i'm hearing like don't get too defensive right use it as a guide as a resource to kind of see sense feel into maybe just some of the changes and adjustments that need to be made, especially when it comes to the level, yeah, right there, confirmation, the level of respect that we are expecting in exchange for what we give. People show up as mirrors, people, places, and things, you know? It is that concept of what we're putting out, we're going to attract back. Even if, like, cognitively, we're like, no, I don't, I think I respect myself. Are you really, you know, are you honoring? Are you taking care of your body, mind, soul? 
you know modern day is so crazy i'm learning this lesson hugely in my life just the value of self-care and really what it does for us it allows us to be grounded and empowered and making better decisions for ourselves. essentially it's just like making us better people you know and the more self-care we do the better it is for our physiology you know not just for our health but for our mental our emotional our spiritual so whatever is coming up for you right now it's annoying i'm not gonna lie i get it a hundred percent it's also the thing that you kind of need to say to kind of ignite you into gear yeah duality there's always, always, always the good and the bad. And I even, I hate saying it like good, bad, right, wrong. You know, because it's like, it's, life is not so uh, rigid. Yeah, there is boundaries, there's limitations, but there's also like abundance and bound, boundlessness and fluidity. And I, that's why I love, um, you know, the yin yang symbol because every space still has a component of the other regardless of how big it is there still is embodiment of the masculine feminine within one another because that's like creation right that's life and it's like basic most simplistic form i'll get off my philosophical tangent but this is really just talking about like Again, like, I really feel like you are getting messages from spirit, whatever that means for you. It doesn't have to be all the woohoo. I love the woohoo, obviously. <laughs> but, um, you know, it can be through prayer, through, you know, reading the Bible, reading the Quran, reading a book that really honors your heart with spiritual messages, etc. It doesn't have to be, you know... Well, sorry, I'm getting lost in this reading. I'm going to stay focused. <laughs> well, and that, that's interesting, right? Because that energy of getting lost, when we're doing too much, putting too much on our plate, having these super high expectations of ourselves, of those around us, we get lost. We, we end up moving away from what that authentic alignment is, you know? It's like, I'm hearing it's like about the rigidity. There is no one all way or the other. Like we were talking about with that yin yang. There's always going to be elements. And I feel like we have to know where our threshold is. And when we're starting to dip down into more darker, low vibey places, if we're being an a-hole if we're picking on someone, you know what I mean? Being the victim. Because I feel like you're better than that. And, you know, there is, like, I feel this level of honor and integrity from you, Taurus. You know you deserve this respect, 100%. But you also have to step into that power of the respect with the way you treat yourself and the way that you command others to treat you maybe command is harsh of a word i don't know <laughs> i'm hoping you're understanding what i, I think you are obviously i have the <laughs> i over talk <laughs> right i over explain okay eight of swords so where are you keeping yourself hostage i love it in this card too because if you look that swan is bound by the thorns, the swords that entangle it. And yet there's this gorgeous hummingbird that's so bright, so vibrant, shining that heart of love. Hummingbirds are amazing too. Um, just their capacity, <laughs> if you're interested in the, you know, but anywho, um, you know, and it's like, don't keep yourself separate and limited from what your heart really wants. You know, I think we have to really dig deep into like, why am I pissed off? Why are these feelings happening? And why am I reacting out of them? And why is this person reacting out of them, right? 
because that's really what's keeping the situation limited and at bay. And I think there's enough happening right now for you, Taurus, that it's, like I said, it's starting to get effing annoying, <laughs> you know? Like, I think you're, it reminds me of, in the beginning, the rose-colored glasses, and then it's like, oh yeah, those come off, and reality kind of, yeah, takes root. Knight of Pentacles. So this is... Someone who moves very slow. I want, I don't think this is, even though this is earth energy, you could be dealing with another earth sign. That could be you. Obviously, these are collective readings, so the energy is interchangeable. You know what resonates for you. Uh, but I actually feel like this is more the other person. Like, they're kind of taking their sweet time to grow, to change, to evolve. You don't feel like you're getting that respect that you deserve. But that's where it's not specifically about this other person, you know. There's something within you that you really have to check into. You know, how are you showing up? What are you saying? How do you contribute to this energy? There's your energy right there, Taurus. Because you are vibrant. You are the Empress, no matter what gender you are. <laughs> Empress is the embodiment of that abundance, from the feminine space, being able to really just vibrate in what you're creating and what you're bringing forth. Queen of Swords, you could be a Libra. That's Gemini, Libra, well, or have Libra in your chart. Libra is ruled by the Empress as well, is what I'm saying. Um... I feel like you're trying to look at things diplomatically, but I feel like it's annoying. Yeah, there's your wake-up call right there with the judgment. So seeing this person, again, or situation just from a different perspective. Enough has happened at this point where you're like, oh, that's what it is. And I feel like you've kind of had this energy lingering in past readings, Taurus to be mindful with this person, with this situation. Queen of Wands, okay. It's a lot of other people. So maybe you have like too many people surrounding you. Hmm. Who, okay. So for some of you, there might be a little bit of a attraction elsewhere. Uh, you know, like I said, you could just be dealing with someone who's not really, I don't know. I'm curious as to why you feel disrespected. Here's the thing. And I, I like to be really mindful, especially when they are collective readings. You might be dealing with some, uh, like a third party situation. It's not for everybody, but this is what I'm hearing. This Knight of Pentacles might be putting their interests elsewhere and it's bothering you because I feel like here's these two female archetypes that are kind of competing for this energy. You might have not seen it at first, but now it's happening. And then there's someone else that shows up. And usually the Queen of Wands is very magnetic, very charismatic, brings a lot of, I don't know, people just like being around her, you know? Um, she's beautiful, she's vibrant, she's smart. And there's, it's coming with this Two of Cups for this other person's energy. Let's dig a little deeper. But there's not anything happening yet you know and for some reason I don't feel like I don't know if there is a third party it's not like oh this person's going out and cheating on you or whatever it's it's like a talking to it's something very simple very basic I don't even know if there's like flirting involved it just feels very um you know it feels like there's a lot of people involved in this situation. 
and it's affecting you and your connection with this person or situation. There's our, well, it's, we only have, th no, no, we only have three queens on the board. So there's just a, like a lot of people involved, a lot of opinions, a lot of um, chatty energy. You could be talking about this with friends. That's why a lot of people are showing up your fears, your worries. What is that? Okay. Wanting things to stay balanced, but fearing that they're not. I mean, your intention is in the right place, but it's like, I feel like you're pouring into, pouring into, but you're not seeing the fruits of your labor is what I wanna see, say. Okay. I mean, because with your energy, Taurus, you do look like you're putting in time, effort. What is this? This is just someone who's kind of closed off, not really in this space to be open. You know? Maybe things are looking a lot different for them now with that hangman energy. The hangman is also ruled by Pisces. We're in Piscean season, like I talked about. That can bring up a lot of feelings and emotions about things. And sometimes when we get stuck in our emotional world, we end up kind of going within, right? Playing that hermit role. The Hermit is ruled by Virgo energy. There's our High Priestess. So we have three major arcana. They just might be dealing with a lot. Maybe they're going through huge changes. And maybe you see it, maybe you get it, but you feel like, well, if I'm doing A, B, and C, then it should look like this. But it's not. Good, bad, right, or wrong? I don't know. There's a reason why it's not. It's spirit showing you that there's, you know, you need, you need to pay attention. I feel like a little bit more, maybe not take things so personally. Yeah, there's lots of major arcana on the board. We're not even taking into account, like there's a lot of destructive energy. It feels, you know, dude, that was six major arcana in a row guys so this is a huge pivotal transformation whether that's for you or this other person or this situation there's so much shifting and changing you might not completely understand like maybe you have like um yeah this is what it is you get it but this is basically not taking into account like all the change that is happening. And it's changed from like a really destructive space where things with the tower have really fallen apart. The death is complete, you know, rebirth energy, burning out. I always think of the phoenix, like it burns away the old to bring the new. And, you know... Maybe, you know, maybe you were talking about it with other people. Maybe you were gossiping. Maybe this other person caught wind of it. Um, there's, you know, I mean, like I said, it does feel like there's a lot of people involved. And I do, I am seeing two different types of situations. One that might be more with friends, coworkers, community-based. And one might be more around, you know, your relationship someone like a little bit closer to you yeah that needs to be a little bit more authentic i think aries got that as well where i feel like for you taurus let's look okay open doors so you know i think this is just being a little bit more open to the process Maybe you need to initiate a little bit more, maybe ask questions, gain information, etc., as to why things are. Instead of talking to other people, maybe talk to that person, right? They really look, like I said, I pulled six major arcana for them. 
back to back to back. So that's huge change. It's huge change, huge dynamic shift. And they need to ground a little bit more. And so maybe that's kind of where the confusion has come into play for you because you're like, well, it should be this way, you know, but maybe that grounding is way easier for you because you are earth energy. I feel like, like I said, depending on how this is playing out in your world, um, if you are kind of dealing with, and not kind of, if you are dealing with a partner, romantic partner, try to be a little bit more authentic and honest, you know, I think that's actually going to help bring a little more harmony and cohesion and not as much frustration. So thanks so much for tuning in, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed the reading, sending lots of love and blessings to whatever you're navigating through this week. Definitely big thumbs up if you liked. <laughs> uh, drop comments below or resonated, I should say. Uh, I'm losing it right now. <laughs> no. um, drop comments below. Let's build and grow the community. Lots of love. See you next time.